Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I am your host, Escalante TV. Now, in my last Minecraft video I reviewed the Reconsole mod pack, the Legacy 4J mod pack, where it pretty much turns your normal version of Minecraft into the Legacy Console editions. So if you're not completely filled in on what I'm talking about when I say Legacy Console editions, you can feel free to watch that video. But in this video I want to talk about uh, this other mod that's been made in addition to the Legacy console mod, the Legacy 4J mod. So this is a mod that downgrades your Minecraft. It goes, it pretty much goes down to the first title update. So what I mean by the first title update is uh, when Minecraft officially released for consoles, it originally first released on the Xbox 360 back in 2012. And uh, if you were playing Minecraft on the Xbox around 2012, you were basically playing a PC equivalent of the old beta, of the old 1.6, 1.7.3 beta that uh, there is actually like a small community that's kind of centered around that and I think it's like growing bigger a little bit just because people have nostalgia for these older versions of Minecraft. So I want to show this Legacy Reborn mod. So uh, if you go on the ModRinth, the same app I used in the last video, and search up Legacy Reborn in the mod packs. And you can see it here. It'll have this page right here, uh, Legacy Reborn. And they, these guys also have a YouTube channel. So uh, I subscribed to their YouTube channel. They released this update 1.3 trailer that featured a lot of things that make it close to uh, something you'd play on the Xbox 360. So there is still a way to play the older Xbox title update one on the Xbox 360, but you have to go through extra steps like booting up your 360, deleting the title update and going offline. Or uh, I think if you download the, the ISO file and, and you play it on, I think, yeah, Xenia, the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator. But we're gonna go ahead and boot this up and showcase it. Go ahead and switch over to this here. I have my Master Chief wallpaper here. So this is the boot up screen. I have my controller already connected. So some key differences that you'll see between Minecraft on the Xbox 360 and this mod is that it'll have an option to join an SMP server, but uh, it's a work in progress. Just clicking on it. So when you first boot up this mod, this is so these are some changes already made with the mods. So at first when you boot it up, it'll say Legacy Reborn on it. And the way you actually change the actual the title, there's actually built-in resource packs for this, which is kind of nice, just like the reconsole mod. So basically you have to go into settings and you have to go into uh, I believe Let's see here, game options, and you have to enable developer mode. That's the way you actually activate the the packs here. So then you go to developer settings, you go all the way down, and it'll say resource packs. And I think on Mac, I have to press uh, shift uh, left click, and then it'll show you different packs. Uh, it'll show you uh, the classic textures and then the Xbox 360 add-on, which I think it's appropriate for this mod, but there's other options here too, but I mostly prefer the Xbox 360 version to this, so it's gonna refresh here. So some things I noticed from uh, the MC Legacy Project's trailer to this mod, they, they released a trailer on their small channel, which you should go subscribe for the MC Legacy Project's YouTube channel. I think this mod is pretty underrated. Uh, I don't see a lot of people downloading it, talking about it. So I think it's just the more accessible way to play old Minecraft, especially for the small community that exists to uh, play the classic uh, old beta versions. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the music just so it's not too loud. Forgot to do that. All right. So one thing you'll notice, yeah, it, it'll have the classic startup screen to create a world, play the tutorial. 
I feel like everybody's already seen the tutorial, so we're just going to create a new world. And I think one thing too is that it's open for LAN. You can actually play multiplayer with your friends. Uh, I heard old seed generation is also a thing. You can adjust the difficulties. Normal, easy, hard. I feel like I'm going to challenge myself and go for the hard version of this game. Let's go ahead and do the hard difficulty here. Hopefully it's not too hard though. You can do small, medium, large worlds. Default. So we're going to go ahead and do default. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, uh, one thing I also forgot to mention in my last uh, review of the reconsole mod is that there's this keyboard that actually does pop up when you press A. Uh, it works, but I think you'll have to like move it. Yeah, so I'm just going to use my keyboard for this to create this world. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but we're just going to call it. Let's see here. Classic plus. Awesome. All right. Only like a few people in the audience are going to know this reference. It's a doozy if you know it. Um, <laughs> and one of the classic seeds I want to try. Let's see what I'm going to try for the, one of the classic seeds. I might as well try Glacier. Glacier was one of the classic seeds that you could type in in the old Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. I think I've tried some of them to compare them. They, I think they're kind of similar. I don't know if they're one-to-one, -one, but I think it gets the idea of the old console uh, seed generations. So I think this is supposed to be Glacier. Uh, I think I'm going to get a map out. I think the video I watched around this seed had had the the island in the middle of the map. Mine's way skewed to the far left. So there's this pumpkin patch. Might as well collect the pumpkins. So there's nothing really too different. Um, I guess, I mean, bare bones wise, feature wise with the Legacy 4J mod, it's just, we're playing on the first title update, I guess. We're not really working with the comforts of modern Minecraft with all the blocks and the complex crafting and the complex everything. It's just simple Minecraft from the old days. The one that uh, we all remember playing on the 360. That's the that's the thing about old world generation is that you get these crazy mountains and sky islands, bunch of trees. Oh yeah, and old achievements do pop up, which is kind of nice. I think that's also a carryover from the Legacy 4J mod. Breaking trees. And if you notice too, there's no sprint in this. There actually, I think in the developer settings, there is a way to enable sprint, but I prefer not to just so I can play this kind of true to the original version. Breaking sand. So yeah, look at this huge kind of mountain. You don't get terrain generation like this. I think both Minecraft was kind of special with that. It's just the crazy terrain generation. So I'm going to go ahead and make a crafting table. How, why not? Make a, we'll need it. We'll make it right here. We'll start it right here. Oh, we already found lava. Yeah, and I guess the hints do pop up. Just like in the 360 version. Oh, I forgot. I'm not supposed to mine iron ore with a wood pickups a pickaxe. What am I doing? Break the cobblestone here. Break that. I gotta make a kind of 
ladder uh, stairway here. All right, uh, make sticks. Make no. Okay. Make a stone pickaxe. Break that. Get some iron started. Cool. Um, iron ore. Looks like iron ore. I think one thing about the Legacy 4J mod, if you play the just the standard mod, I think you'll still get like the raw iron item. But here in this version, it reverts back to the classic iron ore block. So, essentially, with the Legacy 4J mod, you're working with a modern version of Minecraft. Just essentially, it's just the UI and the mechanics are just like the console edition. But this is closer, I would say, to true console edition than the just vanilla <laughs> Legacy 4J mod. Just the work these modders put into um, uh, making this it's just incredible. I never thought I would ever play this version of the game ever again. But now it's possible. Alright, so I have wood. Let's see what the rose. It won't be rose it won't be poppy, it'll be roses now. Break that. Try and get. I'm gonna smelt the iron. Why not? We gotta do that. Smelt the iron. And what do I need? I need torches. I need to break the tree and get charcoal. I know a lot of people don't get charcoal, but. When there's no coal, you gotta make charcoal. Hopefully I can make my sh semi-shelter here before nightfall. Dun, 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 dun. Break the second tree here. Alright, I think I got enough raw oak. Maybe I can smelt it for the charcoal. Oh yeah, I forgot there's no XP. <laughs> I was expecting the little ding from the XP. Uh, Alright. I just need one. And... Probably, you know, I'll spare some. Make sticks. Make a charcoal torch. Alright, so I was interrupted mid recording. So I was. I, oh, uh, creeper. Oh, I'm getting interrupted twice. Alright, so as I was saying, um, I kind of do want to turn Minecraft into a side project, just something to kind of chill and talk about. Maybe actually make a dedicated Minecraft Let's Play series. I used to play like a little survival series when I was playing Minecraft Pocket Edition like way back in the day as a kid, but I think I never really continued the Let's Play past like seven episodes. And then after that I just dropped it. And get some coal. I think that's all we need for torches. But yeah, I kind of do want to make this episode zero of a dedicated Minecraft world Let's Play thingy that I kind of want to do just to chill, talk. Of course, I'll still continue my normal commentary videos talking about other topics, gaming, media, movies, shows, TV, life happenings, stuff like that. But Minecraft is just one of those games that I always like to go back to and just chill, build, build things, experience again, especially with this mod being a thing now, I just, just 
because I really want to get back into it. Oh, shoot. Dang, I don't know if, like... Oh, shoot. I'm gonna die. Of course. Okay. Of course I died. Uh, so the fun thing about this mod is that you can do exit without saving. You can go back, load the game again, and you're back to where you started. Um, back to where that creeper tried to blow me up. I think there's another creeper, so I need to be careful. I don't know if it's like the lighting is just dark, but I, I did not see that skeleton. I need to go back and make more torches. We're gonna try and explore this cave. It'll be my challenge right here. Expl explore that cave. I need. I do need a sword. I need a sword. I probably do need food as well. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna kill that cow. I'm sorry. Uh, I need steak. Uh, all, all he dropped was leather. Okay. I need food. Since when do the cows not drop steak? I'm getting his leather and creeper. Dodging the, the arrows. Get wrecked. Come on, creeper. Do you burn in the sun? I don't think creepers burn in the sun. Nope, they don't. I think what I found out is on hard, I think they're an insta-kill. Uh, I think uh, if they blow up in front of you. Maybe I do want to make a little mountain house in here. Oh, another creeper. Come on. Put some torches down, keep the monsters away. I don't know what it is, but I think this area looks darker on my monitor. Maybe it's my monitor. Maybe not. I, I have the gamma all the way up. Graphics, gamma, gamma all the way up. <laughs> all right, I need more wood. And I'll try to end off the episode with making, a, a, I guess, a basic shelter. And maybe I'll go back and conquer that cave. Because uh, I, uh, I think I'm going to get wrecked once I go back in there. No, oh, they're sheep. So the fun part about this mod, too, is it also reverts to the classic punch a sheep and get wool. So punch a sheep, get wool. I think I can make a bed. But they don't drop mutton, so that's the thing. You can't kill sheep for uh, meat. Not in this version. So that's the... That's the thing you can't do. Alright, I'm gonna collect my stuff. Try to establish a base over by that mountain. Because um, I don't think I'm gonna be in the best situation if I'm caught out in the open like this. Not an old Minecraft. I'm going to try and head up into this little place and make a hiding place. Back in the day, that's how I started my Minecraft Let's Plays. At least whenever I booted up a new world, just make a hidey hole. I think that's like the first Minecraft video I ever watched was just a guy making a hole into the wall. And just... Putting, making his base in, inside of a hiding, hidey hole. I think I'm gonna block this off with dirt, just so I can break it easily. Promise, it's only for the first night. 
it's already kind of a claustrophobic situation, so that's why I'm gonna try and expand this. And though, we'll make our first base here. There we go. All right. Make our furnace right here, just like the good old days. Shoot, what was I gonna make? I was gonna make a bed so I can skip the night. Can you make different colored beds? Was that a thing? No, there wasn't a thing. Oh, okay, so it's the same colored bed, just to different colored wools. Okay, so this mod really takes into account the old crafting, just yep. Pretty, pretty nice. Historically accurate Minecraft. I'm trying to respawn point. There we go, now it's daytime. Time to continue the day. Good old skeleton. Forgot he burns in the sun. Nope, 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 I don't want to die. Uh, I need meat, thank you. Pork chops, and... Oh yeah, food items don't stack. Okay. We are so back. As they say. Okay, I guess... Mm, we'll cook this. And I think the old texture was the steak texture if you cooked pork chop in a furnace. I'm gonna try and see. Just so I can heal up. Can you make... I don't think pumpkin pie was a thing. Let me see, I gotta check the food here. Nope, pumpkin pie was not a thing. Okay. So... What could you do with... I don't... Oh, that's really weird. Okay. So all you could make was cake and bread. Okay. Pork chop. Okay. The old pork chop in there. All right. Break that. I don't know what it is. I think the old... Old lighting. just darker. It seems darker, though, but I, I think I'll have, just have to get used to it. Yeah, I guess this is my base for now. I'll eat this last pork chop, and I think we'll call it uh, an episode. So yeah, this is Minecraft Title Update 1, Episode 0. So yeah, hopefully you and enjoyed this video at least it was a nice little curious uh rewind to the past blast from the past i'll try to be dedicated to this world if not well i'll see what i can do with this make this work uh turn it into a side project do whatever with it have it be a chill hour on my channel when it comes to just playing classic minecraft i've been looking to do this for months now i've been trying to find a way to Maybe go back to the old betas and really experience old Minecraft, and I think I just found it. So yeah, uh, f before I end this video off, go ahead and give uh, the MC Legacy Projects a visit. I'd, I'd say they've made a really, really good mod here. I'd say it's, it's, it's a great way to revisit the older versions of the game without going through the hassle of going through an emulator or doing the whole delete title update trick on the old Xbox 360. I think this is just a very intuitive way of experiencing old Minecraft and maybe uh, we'll get a little bit more people actually playing this version given that uh, the Xbox 360 store closed and just uh, Java Minecraft is just more, uh, you can just download it, download Modorinth, download this mod and uh, 
play this game with your friends uh, who already own the Java edition. So yeah, uh, if you guys want to stay tuned for more Minecraft, more of my commentaries, more of my other videos, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.